Hey there, lab technicians. Today, I'm guiding you through the bacterial endotoxin test for water for injection, or WFI. This procedure is crucial for ensuring that our water is free from harmful endotoxins, keeping our injections safe. First off, let's gather our materials. You'll need LAL reagent, control standard endotoxin, WFI sample, and of course, your PPE. Always follow your lab safety protocols. All right, now let's move to the preparation phase. Start by reconstituting the LAL reagent according to the manufacturer's instructions. It's important to handle this reagent with care to avoid contamination. Next, prepare your endotoxin standards. These will serve as your positive controls. Follow the dilution instructions precisely. Any deviation might affect your test results. Now it's time to prepare your WFI samples. Pipette the required volume into sterile tubes. Make sure your pipettes are calibrated and you use sterile techniques all throughout. Let's get to the testing phase. Add the LAL reagent to both your samples and the endotoxin standards. Mix gently and incubate them at 37 degrees Celsius. The incubation time usually ranges from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the kit instructions. After incubation, it's time to read the results. Most commonly, this test uses a gel clot method. Check for clot formation by gently inverting the tubes. If a firm clot remains, it indicates the presence of endotoxins. Compare your samples with the standards to determine the endotoxin levels. Record your results meticulously. Make sure to document everything in your lab notebook or electronic system. Consistent record keeping is key for any lab procedure. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide for conducting the bacterial endotoxin test on WFI. Always remember to follow your lab's specific protocols and manufacturer guidelines for the most accurate results. Thanks for tuning in and keep your lab work safe and precise. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more laboratory tutorials. See you next time.